Bonjour YouTube, it's Lux LaFemme. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. Madams and Messieurs, please don't forget to click the notification bell. So, as the title says, the de-escalating ego versus the toxic ego. When you're able to de-escalate your ego, you're able to talk yourself down from a decision that can cost you dearly, opposed to a toxic ego that is not interested and in not only not talking you down from creating a horrible mistake, but definitely can't read the room and will definitely encourage you to to, to make very bad decisions. So I'd like to use the example of now ex-officer Joe Gutierrez. So ex-officer Joe Gutierrez is the officer that has gone viral for um, the assault against Army Lieutenant Caron Nazario. Now, ex-officer Joe Gutierrez wasn't the only he wasn't the only police officer. The other officer who's still on the job, Daniel Crocker, um, though it took, according to the chief of police, and I'm putting it in quotes because the chief of police knows Daniel Crocker. So Daniel Crocker was, um, had just graduated. The chief of police knew him personally since he was 14. And in his opinion, the chief of police's opinion, Daniel Crocker was trying to, to be more, but he he had more um, uh, wherewithal to try to de-escalate. Even though Daniel Crocker lied on his report on Lieutenant Nazario, he lied, literally. So, <laughs> yeah. And it's interesting in another article um, on NBS, um, sorry, NBC.com, um, the article is stating that the, that both of the, uh, Gutier not Guti yeah, Gutierrez and uh, Crocker's reports were almost identical, which meant they corroborated stories. They, they came together to create, because what they did was literally lie on the, on uh, officer, I mean, excuse me, on Lieutenant Nazario. They lied on him. They pulled him over because they said they couldn't see his intransits when they could see his intransits. They said that he was obstructing justice. Well, really what he was doing was trying to find a well-lit area to stop. He wasn't going fast, any of that. You have to read the law. You have to read, yeah, it, it is, it's like, wow. <laughs> so these police officers literally lied on this young man. He was filming, and the, both the police officers had on their body cam, body cams. But according to the police, the t chief of police, Daniel Crocker had more wherewithal to de-escalate opposed to Gutierrez, who did not escalate at all. Gutierrez is heard in the body cam footage. Now I'm reading an article, a part of an article from CNN, says. Um, in body cam footage, Gutierrez is heard telling Nazario he was fixing to ride the lightning sign, which is in the lawsuit des describes as a colloquial expression for an execution. And that's how I've known it to be a euphemism for execution, riding the lightning, uh, particularly in reference to the electric chair. So the article goes on to say, you do everything right, you slow down, you submit to the authority and law enforcement, you do the right thing, you wait until a well-lit place to pull over because you're in a dark road, you don't want anybody to get heart hurt, and then the officers turn around and repay your courtesy with this. So late Sunday evening, town manager William Saunders confirmed to CNN that Gutierrez had been followed, had been followed, fired is what I meant to say following an investigation into the incident launched because of the use of force. Crocker is still employed by the police department. Now, I haven't watched the whole video. I, I just can't stomach it. It's just too much dra trauma. So I just can't stomach it. But I find it interesting that Crocker, who the chief of police knew, in the chief of police's mind, 
he was more trying to de-escalate. Even though Crocker it did, I said saw some scenes or some pictures where Crocker had his gun out too. Crocker also lied on his report, but he still got to keep his job. Where Gutierrez, who was not able to de-escalate himself, was fired. You fixing to ride, ride the lightning, son. That was one thing he said. The other thing he said was when Nazario said, I'm, I'm honestly scared right now. Gutierrez said you should be. So at no time did, he, did Gutierrez de-escalate. If you're unable to de-escalate yourself, you don't need to have a gun. If you can't control your own feel, your own emotions to the point where you're not going to hurt anybody and still get your needs met, meaning as a police officer, find out, I mean, the, what, one of the best questions in my mind would be like, can you share with me why you felt the need to drive this far? Or why didn't you stop at first? And as soon as the young man said, would have said, I was trying to find a well-lit area, that should have been it. Okay, we just we stopped you because we couldn't see your tags. Okay, oh, okay, everything. That's it. But because he did not stop immediately, it triggered Gutierrez. And Gutierrez did not de-escalate. Now, I wouldn't be shocked if Crocker came back and said, listen, I didn't... Um, you know, I didn't charge him with this, or I didn't say that I didn't. I mean, that he put it all on Gutierrez. I would not be shocked. <laughs> it wouldn't shock me at all. And I, you know, I, <laughs> last name Crocker, last name Gutierrez. Again, though, Gutierrez was shown to be more aggressive and less de escalating. If you can't de-escalate yourself, you don't need to be a police officer. But what it reminds me of is narcissists. Narcissists don't de-escalate. They don't de-escalate. They, as soon as something triggers them, they go into narcissistic rage because there was a narcissistic injury. Bam, bam, bam. And to me, as again, I can't watch the video, but just reading, seeing bits and pieces, you know, that to me, I, I saw narcissistic rage. He didn't, he, you, you see this boy, you see this young man, I shouldn't say boy. He's, he's a young man. He's in his twenties. You saw him as a subordinate. You think you're superior over him and therefore he didn't comply. So you're going to show him why he should have complied in the first place. And you're going to make him, he ain't never going to forget you and control domination, narcissistic injury. You can't control yourself. You can't de-escalate yourself and you got a motherfucking gun. Excuse my language. Kim Porter. You gonna sit there and lie. Talking about taser, taser, taser. Girl, please. Even Pat Robinson from the 700 Club ain't buying that bullshit. You can't de-escalate yourself, you don't need a gun. You can't de-escalate yourself, you don't need to be a police officer. But the rest of us who know, the rest of us who have dealt with narcissists, you know they can't de-escalate themselves. That's why they can't change, because they don't know how to de-escalate the situation. They don't know how, they don't have that mechanism to de-escalate. Au revoir, mon amis. Thank you for your time. We'll talk again.